Hey guys, so this is just a short, let's try to make it short, video about how I became vegan. So I never follow a script um, and I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just play one on YouTube at times. So on that note, like and subscribe, please. Um, this is how I became vegan. So I have a lot of people ask me like, what was it? What was it that got you to, to change your whole life and to change your lifestyle and to start living this way? Well, let me tell you. Um, it was probably about nine years ago and I had met a guy. Yeah, I met a guy. I know it's really, it's crazy. It's a weird concept. And he lived in another city. I'm going to try to make this part of the story short. And so I went to go see him one weekend. Um, and he said, uh, oh, we're going to go to a dinner at my, um, uh, employee's house. And they're vegan. And he goes, so I'm not really sure if you're going to like, like the food in that. And I'm thinking at the time, like, well, why wouldn't I like the food? Like what's going to be so weird about it? Like I like fruits and vegetables. What's, you know, I don't really get what the deal is. Right. So I go there and it was this really cool house. If these people are watching it, um, you played a part in this. It was this really cool house with the, this really cool couple. And there was a bunch of other people there and they had like, kind of like a little mini sanctuary. They had, um, pigs and chickens and, and animals in their backyard. So, you know, I go in the backyard and they're like, Hey, do you want to feed the pig? And I'm like feeding the pigs and I'm like holding the chicken and it's just like, I'm petting it. And I'm just like, Oh my God, I love animals so much. And they're like, we can tell that you're like a really kind person and animal lover and everything. Like you must be vegan. And I'm like, well, no, like actually I'm, I'm not vegan, but I do really love animals. You know, I love them. Like I've always had a dog. I love animals. And they're like, but how can you not, not be vegan? Like you say you love animals, but you eat them. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I know that really sucks. <laughs> like, um, but just, you know, but bacon, you know, that good old, but bacon that you, all of us vegans get, like when you say, well, I could never be vegan because bacon, you know, cheese, like, oh my gosh, I could just never do it. And they're like, you know, but we, we see something in you. And so the woman said, I'm going to give you this book. And she said, and she's telling me all about it and everything. And, and it, for them, honestly, okay, I just want to preface this. It wasn't a diet for them at all or anything. They are like true vegans. This is their lifestyle and everything. But um, she's like, I want to give you this book. And it was called How It All Began or How It Began or something like that. And I still have the book. And um, it does have, it's a story about two women and how they ended up becoming vegan and it has recipes and things like that but it's like their whole journey into veganism so i was just like oh okay that's wonderful yeah thank you like i'm, I'm definitely going to read this book and i do have to also say that everything that they had there as far as food was amazing like amazing things that i had never had before like um just even silly things like kombucha like i'd never had kombucha before um they had bean burgers they had cauliflower wings they had desserts and like everything. And I'm thinking this, this stuff is really, really good. So I go home. Oh, I mean the guy that was done. Uh, <laughs> surprise. But anyway, uh, <laughs> why I'm still single. That's a whole other video. Um, so anyways, I read the book and I, that Monday I was all prepared. I'm like, I'm going vegan. Yeah, totally. I get it. I'm reading this book and I'm all about it and everything. And I remember one thing in the book, it said, even like the smallest thing, don't um, like cheat, I guess you could say, like don't put creamer in your coffee, don't do this. Like if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it. It's kind of like the same, see, and I, I always, I've said this before, it's like, you know, as, as a lot of you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic. So it's like when you quit, don't you got, well, I don't wanna say becoming vegan is like quitting, quit, quitting being an animal abuser, but you're quitting, your old lifestyle for a new lifestyle. And it's the same with drinking. You can't kind of half do it, right? Like if you're an alcoholic and you've got to quit drinking, you got to quit. You can't be like, oh, I'm just going to just binge on Fridays. You know what I mean? So it's the same thing with veganism. Like, I mean, if you, you're serious about it and you really want to make a change, you got to make that change, right? That's the way I view it. I'm sorry. Maybe not all vegans view it. Don't, these are just my opinions. By the way, I also got to say that everything in this video is just my opinions. This is just what worked for me. This is just my story. It's not everybody's story. Everybody has their own ways and that's just fine.
Okay, we're just talking about me. Let's talk about me. <laughs> Let's talk about I. Let's talk about number one, me, oh my, oh my. Anyway, so I read the book. I get to work. I make a coffee and I'm like, oh, geez, what am I going to put in my coffee? Because back in those days, I'm, I'm and I'm thinking this was about nine years ago. I want to say it was at least nine years ago. There wasn't, there might have been like almond milk. I'm sure there was, but it wasn't like it is now where you can go to a grocery store and there's like five, six, seven different kinds of non-dairy creamers and milks and all this milk alternatives and all this type of thing. There wasn't that. So I was just like, oh, what am I going to do? And I cheated. I did. I had that creamer in my coffee, the cow's milk creamer in my coffee because I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. Just, I, you know, I failed like on day one. So then I think I kind of tried for a couple days and I was just like, mm, just can't do it, you know? And that was the end of it. But it always still stuck in my mind. Like I always, you know, still thought about it. And, you know, I thought about what those people had said to me and they told me about protests they went to and, you know, what happens to the animals and everything. And it was in my mind. But it just wasn't in my mind enough for me to 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 want to make a change. I guess at the time I was still stuck in like, oh, but bacon, cheese, we need we need our meat, we need our protein, we need whatever. I'm like I what I wasn't the healthiest person in the world by any means. I was just your typical average, you know, ate like I think like you know your typical meals. I wasn't health health freak or anything like that. So then fast forward to and this is what got me started. One night, <laughs> I'm just sitting in my house and I was clicking through Netflix and this documentary was called What the Health? I saw that and I'm like, what the hell? I love documentaries, by the way. I, give me a documentary. I love a documentary. I really like like serial killer murder documentaries too. I'm really into that. But I'm also <laughs> into like stuff about your health too. It's just very interesting to me. And at this time, and I'm going to say a couple things that maybe are going to seem a bit gross to some people. But I had had some bathroom issues, if you know what I mean, like some really bad bowel issues, just putting it out there. Like there would be times where I would not go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean, for like weeks. And that's not normal. And I'd been to doctors, I'd been to, I'd had tests done, I'd had all these these things done and just can figure it out like what's wrong with me I tried different things like oh you need more fiber you need more this you got to try this they gave me like these horrible drinks like this is going off topic but it was like this I can't even remember what it's called I should look it up but it was like this god-awful like really syrupy disgusting drink to try to make me go to the bathroom and stuff like just like that's not what the problem is right and the other thing was I had horrible acne, which I had my entire life. Like I had acne ever since I was probably like 12 years old up until like in my forties. Right. Like, and I don't mean like a few little pimples here and there. I mean like cystic acne my entire life. Right. So what is going to, and they, that's the other thing I went to like a million doctors to dermatologists, whatever specialists tried to cure this up. I went on Accutane three times. That's probably horrible. Who knows what that has done to my body and to my system and everything and all these antibiotics and drugs and crazy stuff. Right? So I'm watching this and it's like, it was about the health aspect for sure. Like it's telling you, you know, like the foods you are eating and putting into your body, like that is directly correlating with your health and affecting, you know, your system. And I'm thinking, yes, this is making so much sense. Like what they were saying was making a lot of sense to me. And I'm thinking like, of course, you're, you're drinking like the hormones of another species and you're wondering why your skin is bad and why you, you can't go to the bathroom and why you're having all these problems and everything, because it's like, we're not meant to put that in our bodies, right? Like cow's milk is for baby cows. Like that's what it's for. So I'm watching this and I'm thinking still in my mind though, it's like the health aspect. I'm like, well, maybe if I cut out dairy, my skin would clear up. And maybe if I wasn't eating all these animal products, like, my system would go back to normal. So it was really, really uh, planting some seeds. It was making me think. But what really got me, and uh, here's the true part about being vegan, was the animals, obviously. Like, I mean, it did show footage of, 
you know, what happens in the animal uh, agriculture industry and slaughterhouses and how horrible and inhumane animals are treated. And they shouldn't be treated like that. They, they are not property. They are sentient beings. And until you make that connection, and like I said, I hadn't made the connection all those years because I was like, oh yeah, I love animals, but I eat them. Like, does that even make sense? When you really think about it, does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. But in, in my mind, and I'm sure most people's minds, it still made sense somehow. Like you're petting your dog, but you're slitting the throat of a pig and eating it. How does that make sense, right? You're not literally doing it, but you're paying somebody to do it, right? So anyways, the next day I was just like, okay, that's it. I'm doing this. And I put out a video. Um, it's probably on here. Maybe you guys have seen it. And it was like two week challenge. And it's just, you know, kind of a silly little thing. But it was just like, I'm going to go vegan for two weeks. And I'm going to just try this and see what happens. And a big part of it was to see if it would help my health issues. But the other part of it was definitely the animals and that should be the main part but like I mean I'm 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 just human right so maybe I was being selfish at the time just thinking oh I just want to see what this diet can do for me and as we know it's not a diet but a lot of people think it is okay so I'm just trying to talk to you like one-on-one -on -one how I was feeling at the time obviously my views have changed over the years I've been vegan for almost seven years now but at the time, this is how it started. This is how it all began, right? So um, I started watching all these documentaries. I was just binge watching documentaries. And I mean like the hardcore, hardcore documentaries like Earthlings, Cowspiracy. There was a bunch of them. I was reading all these books um, and it really started to affect me. I mean, I don't know how anybody can watch any type of documentary like that or any sort of footage over and over and over again and I was watching it like every night like I'd come home from work and I was just watching it or I'd be looking up stuff online and it's I think it's like I wanted to know as much about it as possible as hard as it was to know these things I really wanted to know I wanted to be informed I wanted to know why not why this is wrong but why I shouldn't be doing this, I guess. Why I shouldn't be contributing to this. And it's not that I'm holier than thou or I think I'm better than anybody else or anything. This was just solely for me. Well, it was for the animals. It ended up being for the animals. But at the beginning, it was just like, okay, I don't want to contribute to this anymore. I, I can see that this is inherently wrong and I don't want to contribute to this anymore. So that's how it started. And I just really continued to binge watch all these documentaries and everything and then I was posting my little you know stuff on Facebook and everything so I had a friend say to me you know what you should do you should pick a new recipe once a week and post it on YouTube and I was just like that is a great idea and then that's where I learned how to make so many delicious and nutritious <laughs> meals that are vegan and I didn't need to put the animal cruelty into my recipes. So that was like just great. And you know what? A lot of people watch those videos and did I get a lot of hate? Yeah, sure did. Uh, but did I get a lot of positivity? I did as well. So it was great. And then I ended up actually having a local little TV show in my hometown and um, called that vegan chick. If any of you have ever seen it and you know what uh, a lot of people watched it and maybe people will never ever ever become vegan because of that show but at least they watched it and maybe it planted a seed maybe they thought hey you know what I'm gonna try this and maybe it'll be good and then maybe they will just end up watching a documentary or checking it out and seeing why are we still eating animals when we don't have to um, and then I just want to give a fun little kind of not ending to this story, but it's just kind of funny how things turn around. So back to that original couple that, uh, the woman that gave me the book. So I end up becoming vegan and, um, uh, <laughs> having my little show and everything. And then I end up moving to that city. Not for the guy. Trust me. Not for the guy. Uh, <laughs> Let's make that clear. So I end up moving to the city and I get a job working at this really cool vegan cafe. Just super happy, loving life. It was great. And I'd only been there about a week at the vegan cafe, just moved there. 
and um, they had like a staff appreciation and customer appreciation little uh, get together at their home. So I go there, you know, don't know anybody, don't know a soul or anything. And, you know, just start mingling with people. And this couple comes in, walks into the backyard. And I'm thinking, that girl looks really familiar. Like, I feel like, I don't know, but like, I don't know anybody there. So I asked somebody, I said, see that girl over there? Like, who is she? And she said, oh, she's a really big animal activist in our city. And her name's, insert name here, I won't give the names. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. It was the girl that gave me the book. It was the couple that I had gone to their house probably two years before that, and they had given me the book, The Vegan Couple. So I didn't say anything to them that night because I felt like self-conscious and weird. I don't know. So then I did what most, most uh, weirdos do. I creeped her on Instagram and added her <laughs> or Facebook or something and sent her a message. And I just said, hey, guess what? Like I'm living here now. And remember when you gave me that book two years ago? She probably wants it back. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and I said, I ended up becoming vegan. And like it was just planting a seed. That's all it is, people, planting a seed. So isn't that funny how that just like kind of went full circle like that? I just thought it was a really cool story. Anyways, maybe it's just me. Maybe I, I'm just rambling on, but I just wanted to share this fun little story with you. And you know what? Just maybe take the time out of your day and watch a documentary or, you know, find out more about why you're eating animals and you really don't have to be. And maybe check out some of my cool recipes while you're at it as well. So I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it short. You know I can't because I really like talking. But um, I hope you all have a great day. And yeah, see you in the next video. Mwah.